Hey, got facts here. So I still get a lot of questions in Twitch chat about some stuff that I, I think people should know. So I'm going to make a top 21 tips you should know. Um, this isn't going to be very advanced stuff. I'm sure a lot of people that um, have played the game before know this stuff. And, and, and this is, you know, here's an honorable mention. If you're a very beginner at this game, I know this probably should have been made a month ago, but go to the skills trainer. Go to If you're just picking up Madden, go to the skills trainer. Um, it'll teach you everything you know need to know about this game, about like reading coverages, how, how guys come out aligned, uh, what concepts to run, that kind of stuff. And then kind of look at my eBooks and stuff uh, for more advanced tips. But definitely use the skill trainer. So that's the honorable mention. Let's go to 21. Let's count it down. Number 21. All right. So say you're in a, let's do, this is a defensive one. And let's just call a random play um, and uh, Tampa 2. So frequently if you're, uh, I was I was labbing out goal line stuff. So let's go back a little bit further. So if you're um, facing a scrambling quarterback, you're going to probably generally want to put on a spy. And, and you should know how to put on a spy. A spy is put on by hitting, sorry, I'm dropping my remotes here, uh, a Right on that right side. So he's got a spy. All right. Now, how do you send the spy? You click down. So you roll out here. Let's roll out. And then if you click down, see, I was just standing there. Now he's going after this guy. All right. Maybe I shouldn't be on the spy. I'll show it to you. So I'll put them all on spy just to really make it evident. So they're all on spies. And uh, we'll just let that go. All right. So here we are. They're all on spies. So if I roll out here, they're going to follow me. They're going to mirror me. And then when you hit right stick, they get, the guy gets sent one at a time. And you could do this. And this doesn't necessarily have to be spies either. So say it's in a cover two. No spies on the field. Well, let me show it to you. No spies on the field. If you get it, if you're able to roll out here, you could spend send the nearest zone. I don't know if you could, I don't know if you watch 56 there take off towards me. You can also the right sticks to send the nearest zone. Alright, tip number 21. Tip number um, 20. Alright, that same right stick. It helps a little bit this year against the run. Not as not as effective, what I found. So alright. Watch how the safeties play this. This is against a cover two. Watch how far they went back there. Um, do you see how they kind of stood back? Um, they went away from the ball at first. But if you see a run right away, if you smash right stick down, they'll play it a little bit better. So it's much better. See how fast he came crashing down there? It helps a little bit better. The safeties, it's kind of like an off safety. I don't know if you – I'll show you the difference here in, in instant replay. So if you hit right stick at the, at the snap of the ball – uh, this guy comes crashing down. See, watch. Look at the difference between the safeties. This is me spamming right stick. Then I see the run. See how see how quickly he goes. Like in the first play, he would still be back here. He would still be back here. See, he's still backing up. While this safety is attacking the ball because I hit that right stick. So if it's a run, you hit right stick. The safeties will play it better. Now, don't don't believe me. I'll show it to you again. Here, here here's that same run. No right stick action. Um, but I will say, I think it might have been slightly better last year. But it does help a, a slight amount. Watch those same safeties. See that same safety? No right stick action. Still went backwards. All right. So that's the hit the R3. Uh, run, pass, good stuff right there. Um, next up, let's get into the play call screen. Number 19, counting down. Uh, trio, single like trio. Let's just go against. Let's do something like something silly. What do I want to drive? What do I, does this work? I don't remember which works. I, I, I don't remember the. I don't have a trips and I got a trips single back, but I don't have that. If in the Saints ebook, I can make it work. Um, let's do what play am I looking for? I'm looking for like an out route. Let's try this spot. Do you think spot will do it? Maybe PA, PA blue left. All right. So if you're in a cover six or cover nine, to make it not, let's say, let's try cover six. Eh, let's do nine. Uh, if you're in a cover six or cover nine, watch how they play. Like if you streak Rogers, slant him in. Um, now watch how this cover six safety plays. To make this not happen, watch him how he how he'll break out. Oh damn, that didn't work. I think it's because he got bumped at the line of scrimmage. But uh, he on certain plays they can they can go dumb and match the wrong receiver. Um, so we don't want them to match the wrong receiver. I think it's because I think he's because of getting bumped in a cover. Oh, it's to the wrong side. Whoops. All right, now watch this. Watch the safety play the wrong guy. See how B's open there for a touchdown? It's it's based off of NFL matching rules, and it'll screw up. By stop to stop this, you hit Y and left bumper. See how that play right there? Not check out the defense. Um, and still hit Y. Sorry, Y, L, B to play the sticks, and they won't do that. So there it is. Tip number 19. 
And they, watch him. He'll, he'll stay back on that streak this time. See it? Now, now I'll play it straight up exactly like you expect. Cover six to play. So nice play. All right. Uh, tip number 18. When you're running the ball, do not hold right trigger behind the line of scrimmage. So you can you can maneuver nimbly. Do you see how do you see how I kind of how quickly I cut? But when you hold right trigger, not only can you not move nimbly, you're also getting better. You'll also shed better. There's holding right trigger, and I guess actually that that didn't look too bad. No sheds right there. But generally, if you're running a stretch, where's my stretch? I do have a stretch audible. Let's go off tackle. Uh, if you're doing a stretch audible, hitting right trigger will generally um, trigger more block sheds. At least that's how Madden traditionally worked. I haven't seen it tested this year. Let's go to somebody like out of the play right there holding right trigger block shed maybe that would have block shed it anyways but uh don't hold right trigger behind the line of scrimmage you'll get more uh block sheds that way and you won't be able to nimbly so wait till you're in the open field before you're hitting right trigger as a runner you'll get a lot less block sheds you'll find a lot more open holes so here i won't do it with with no right trigger let's see if this holds all right so that block held see a little bit easier to find your blocks and let them set up without right trigger all right Number 17. Uh, play action passes use run oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play action passes use run blocking first. So that's why the run blocking on this is so bad. Like because run blocking is a little bit worse than pass blocking this year. That's why draws are so good. Draws use pass blocking first. This is something Clint said. Uh, and runs use run blocking first. So um, that's why you kind of get a little bit sh more shed on play actions, especially play actions that carry through. Like play actions that carry through, you get shed. Whereas like that, do you see how I didn't get many sheds there? Um, because I didn't have the play action on. Now watch. So I, I moved away. Uh, does this make sense? So let me go to the better one. I like this this play. I like this play a lot. Let's see if it. Let's see if we get more sheds here uh, using play action passing. Okay, I, I a little bit. And actually, not bad. The pocket's still very tight. Very tight pocket. I don't know. The Saints have decent pass rushers or not? I'm not so sure. But anyways, play action's got worse pass blocking and also. Do you see the way the linemen's um, alignment is? See how they're, they're, you know, they're, uh, what are the white things underneath there, them are uh, forward? That means you can't shift your line. So, like, say if you have a regular pass blocking like this, see how they're backwards? See, look at the formation. This way you can actually shift your line. See how they kind of slanted more to the left? Now they slanted more to the right. So you can shift your line through left bumper, right and left on the right thumbstick. Max protect, that protects your back and your, your tight end. Um, so that's another, I guess that's a tip. What is that? 17.5 about blocking and then ID the mic. Do I have an ID the mic? I might have an ID the mic tip in here too. All right. So I don't want to blow that load too early. Uh, play action. All right. Yeah. Number 16, quick adjustments. So if you're on this player and say you want to adjust this player, you don't have to actually click over here and also quick clicking. You, you just hold down B and then move with your left thumbstick. Some people actually don't know that. You just hold with your left thumbstick and you can go anywhere you want. Uh, and then if you want to quick adjust this guy, hit Y, Y for the DBs, for the quick adjustment. And then you hit the player X, and then you can change them, them like naturally without even moving. So that way you won't leave your user. So if you get Y for the DBs, uh, Y for the guy, and then A, and then you can put him on a blitz. There you go. I just put my safety on a blitz it's crazily enough. Or you can hit left bumper. Left bumper, Y, man up, him on that guy. See this? See that? Not too tough. All right. LB, LB, RB, RB for linebackers, Y, Y for DBs. All right, there's those quick adjustments. Um, also, if you guys, you guys know celebrations, I'm not going to show this off on the field, but you could celebrate um, by, uh, there's the four directions of celebrating. You can do it after a sack. You know you can celebrate after a sack this year? It's kind of cool. Tip number 16. Uh, you can also push the right stick in. So that's a little burst. 16.5 uh, tip for a uh, swagger celebration. Uh, so there's five celebration types, not just four. Uh, also, when you get downfield, I don't know how I'm going to show this. Let's do this play. Let me get some, let me get some clearance here. All right. So I'll show a little bit of clearance. All right, so when you're down the sidelines, hit right trigger to burst it. So if you hit right trigger, you get to burst. You get an acceleration burst. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me see if I can. That'd be cool if I could get like a some sort of open field running. Damn, I was just about to throw it and I got sacked. 
Anyways, you hit right trigger for an acceleration burst. And then you can do you can do it more than once each play if you're really running down, if you're running out of uh running out of sideline, you can do it more than once. Let's try it one more time here. I'll also hold right trigger to cancel that play action. Dang, I didn't do a good job there. Because I didn't provide I, I thought I could do it without the clear out route. Anyways, right trigger to speed burst. That's tip 15. Um uh, custom audibles. Do you guys not know about custom audibles? Maybe not. You guys can make custom audibles in your playbook by getting on the formation, getting to it. Uh, trio. My custom audibles for trio. You hit left trigger, and then I like to put the toss on this because the toss is really good. And then I'll sub out verticals, and I'll put in a uh, bubble screen. So those are my toss. So hit left trigger, and then once you hit once you hit their bumper, like their letter, right bumper, and then you find the play you want, and then you hit that corresponding letter right there, or A X Y. There you go. Um, all right, so that's quick audibles number 14. Uh, play action cancel. Oh, I already said play action cancel. Play action. Did I do play action cancel? I don't know. Maybe not. All right, play action camp, cancel. So here's a play action. Let's watch it play out. All right, there's there's a play action. You roll all the way out. All right, roll out. Cool. That's awesome. Really cool for me. Uh, if you want to cancel it, stay in the pocket, which is generally a better uh, tip to stay in the pocket. Hit right trigger. There it is. Instant stop. Instant stop. Easy peasy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Or uh, or you can just re-block your running back by hitting Y, right bumper, right trigger to pass block him. Now you don't. Now there's no rollout at all. Nothing at all. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. All right. That's, uh, what about 13? All right. Once you break the huddle, you can hurry up by hitting A. And you guys know my hurry up glitch tip from my other video. Don't use it. It's kind of scummy. But just FYI. But you can hurry up if you only got a few seconds on the clock. Eight seconds and less. You have to do it eight seconds on the play clock to get a snap off. Seven seconds I don't think works this year. I've had a lot, I've, I've raged a lot. Eight seconds is there. Your quarterback saunters to the line even when you're holding A down. But uh, hurry up to the line with hitting A. Um, you can ID the mic with left bumper. I think it's broken this year. Left bumper, A, ID the guy. I don't think ID the mic works this year. I, I have had no luck with it. I shift my line. I don't ID mics anymore. All right. Uh... Oh, shoot. That's an outdated tip. One tip was patched. All right. The best spin in the game. All right. So I've gotten a lot of spins. All right. Best spin in the game, in my opinion, is that left trigger, right trigger spin you just saw me do. There's there's a few different types of spins. I think spins and jukes are good this year. Um, I like the left trigger, right trigger. I like the regular juke. Also, the, the regular spin's okay. God dang it. You want to make sure to have somebody with tier A spinning over 88 spin. You must have over 88 spin for a good spin. Um, and then... Whoop. Okay, I, it should be a toss, right? Let's bring a toss in. I'll show. I'll show it in a toss. This is beautiful. Okay, and formation. Go with these guy. All right, you can. Fl All right, another tip. You can flip this run with left with right trigger. See how it's going that way? Flip it with right trigger, right, right trigger left, or right thumbstick, right, right thumbstick left. All right, now watch this. Watch this sweet spin. Okay, that didn't work. It doesn't work as well against computers. It worked really good against users. All right. Regular spin. It's okay. Right, I, I like it. I like regular spin. It's not a bad idea. Regular spin. It depends on the situation, whether you use spin or juke or not. There you go. Regular spin. Big spin. All right, and we got caught by the pursuit. So left trigger, right trigger spin is the big one. Um, that's the one I prefer um, when I'm going against like users. Because it completely changes the field, the the whole movement. Up. So make sure master left trigger, right trigger spin, and then regular spin against the CPU. It's pretty glitchy. Ah, hit by the hit by the uh, other CPU player. Uh, also, if you want another good number, what what am I on? I don't even know what tip I'm on. Eleven. Also, if you plant and hit right trigger, you get a speed burst, which is always nice. So let me see if I can let me see if I can show it off. God dang it! Yeah, I can't show it off here. I'm getting I'm getting chased to the sidelines. Uh, it's like it's like a burst. Let me see. Come on. Yeah, I'm I'm getting chased. This might not be the right opportunity to do this. Basically, you spin. It's the one cup mechanic. Let's see this. Let's see this. Ah. All right. So basically, it's it's good against like users, but I still I still prefer the spin over it. And then, ah, all right, well, 
terrible, terrible tip. I haven't mastered this one yet. I don't know if I will because it's not as good as the other one. Like I see one video saying this is the best move, the one cut. It's not the best move. The spin and the juke are. Um, I get the clickbait. I get it. It's awesome. But it's wrong. All right. It's a little harder to do than the spin, and it doesn't cause it doesn't cause misses by the CPU. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what are we on? Like eight, ten? Uh, did I miss one? Oh yeah, you can user and strafe burst. So say they're say so I'll take over the user. So you can hit left trigger, left trigger, left trigger, and then strafe burst. It's great for it's great for a woo CPU got me there. Nice work. Um, it's great for passes. So when uh, say. Whoops, call audible. Say they're say they're passing, and you're back here. You're strafing. You're strafing. You're strafing. You can burst by hitting hitting letting go left trigger, hitting right trigger. I, this isn't really the fastest. Let me try with this Coleman. I think is Coleman fast. I hope so. See how that? See how he burst? You strafe and then you burst. It's good. It's good for stopping runners. You wanna maybe tip number nine here. It's holding left trigger. When you're going against a, a user on their toss and stuff, um, you won't get faked out as much. Hold left trigger like this to strafe, and you won't get faked out. Let me see if I can stop it. Let me see. All right. Hold that, and then you can burst. You can strafe burst to stop their spins and stuff. So uh, holding left trigger makes you go sideline to sideline. It actually doesn't slow you down as much as you think it would. It slows you down a little bit, and then you can burst off of it. Oop. So left trigger burst. Uh, next up, oh shoot, did you just straight from Bella? I think I only got like five left. Did I, did I do more than I should have? Uh, coaching adjustments. You guys know coaching adjustments? They're not in here. God dang it. Coaching adjustments are on these, on this screen normally, uh, during games. The best coaching, I go to SWAT ball and then try and mix in pass rush aggressive, not a, and then check pass rush aggressive by fake hiking a lot. So make sure and fake hike a lot during your games so people aren't pass rush aggressive. Uh, let's say four left. I already talked about flipping the run. Dang it. Oh, oh, this is a really important one. Uh, low ball and high ball. So we'll call this two, but it's really kind of one put together. So to high point pass, very important. This is so powerful. Hit left bumper, especially near the goal line. Get a tall tight end, hit left bumper, hit their icon. Don't hit anything else. Left bumper, icon, high point. You see that? See that was high point? Get in that hit Y then. Don't hit A or Rack. Do not hit A or X on the Xbox. High point, high point, high point. It's hit Y. You're good to do it. Hitting Y and aggressive, we should start hitting Y and aggressive more. Tip number three. Hit Y as much as possible uh, when you're going for passes, if you can. See, high point again. Uh, it causes like funky animations by the safeties if you don't get in two-man animation especially. All right, and then low ball is left bumper. Say, look at... See, I'm throwing it near McDonald. Lobo. Whoops. I hit the I hit the wrong button. God dang it. Perfect. In during the instruction video, I can't even get it right. All right. Low ball is left trigger. High ball is left bumper. Get used to it. Make sure and throw your fair share of them. Whoa. Oh, I did a random blitz. It's on a random play, ain't it? All right. Make sure you get used to your low balls. See that low ball? He goes possession catch. It's really nice on like deep ends or something um, or post routes. It's like this post route to Rogers. All right, he's blitzing me. It's man coverage. Man coverage isn't good again. Low ball, high ball against man coverage are, isn't as good. Just stay in zone, dang it. All right, so watch this post route to Rogers. I don't know if I need to low ball it, but I'm going to anyways. Whoa, 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 pass rush. It's time to stop, pass rush. All right, so stay in zone. All right, Rogers. Low ball time. God dang it. What? It wasn't even a good low ball. It was just an open read. I want to low ball that. All right. Let's try Rodgers again on his low ball. Not even a good low ball. Like right underneath the safeties, go low ball, go low. That's a fine time for low balls. Um, generally, it's a, it's a good one. I, I know on tight end out routes... Tight end out routes are good to go low balls too. It was traditionally. Um, just to get them to go down and to, to receive it. So uh, low ball, high ball is something you should master in the routes that you throw because it makes it hard for the defense to react. Um, also make sure in like pass lead stuff too. 
Uh, okay, next one. Perfect kicks. I'm just gonna mention it. If you hit it, if you hit a kick perfectly, I guess I could switch. I guess I could switch. We'll go with number two. Practice type. Uh, kick off. I guess. I guess good than kicking. But if you do a perfect kick against a field goal, right here. Boom. Oh, oops. I messed that up. That wasn't perfect at all. But do you see? Do you see where it hits that line? That green line. Uh, just go down. Don't matter. Let's see if I can hit this perfect. Every kick is different. You gotta get used to them. All right. See where that line at 100 says? If you're above that line, you kick it further. If you're below the line, you kick it lesser. If you kick it on that line, you can hit it perfect, so they can't block it on a field goal or extra point. So if you need an extra couple yards further than your uh, green arrow says, you can, one you can hold down on field goals. Um, obviously on kickoffs, you can hold it up. You don't generally don't want to hold it up on extra points or field goals because it'll make you go shorter. But hold it down on field goals to make it go longer. The left thumbstick I'm talking about. And then, uh, shoot, I keep missing that. All right, so I missed it both ways. But you see what I was talking about? Hit the 100 and then hit it in the in the black part near the bottom near A um, to get 100%. So there is that tip. Um, and then lastly, I want to talk about, uh, I guess this is the, the number one tip. It's not really number one. It's not really that really good. But um, So guys can force man coverage if I, if I switch this practice type. Guys can force man coverage by going like four by one, and then they they force a man coverage. Say you're in, say you're in over here in cover two. Let me see if I can do it. Uh, what's a good one? What's a good one? Try this one. All right. So see how there's only one receiver over there. Uh, so it switches to man coverage even though you're in cover two. He'll play it like man because that's just NFL logic and rules. See how he's, he's in man there? Whoops. And then I got sacked. So you could change that by hitting. All right. So say, say I do that. Do it after they change it. I think you have to do it after. Shade down. Shade up. Now I should play like your regular cover two again instead of man coverage. This is, ben, this is, been, this is my, my tips in 17. See how he plays that like a regular man too? Woo. He still threw it for completion. Glitchy. All right. So there it is. Shade down, shade up to take off that man coverage matching that I know a lot of people are going to try against you. All right, so that's it for the tip video. Oh, wow, went over 20 minutes. I'm sorry I went so long, but uh, hopefully those 20 tips, 21 tips or so help you out. So thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.